Hi, I'm Dave from Boinaband.com, and on today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a happy sounding chiptune synth effect in Reason. Chiptune is all about emulating old school sounds, so this will be a pretty simple tutorial with a few useful tips about making chiptune sound better. OK, let's begin. Let's start by playing you the loop I've made here. It's the happy little chiptune loop, and we'll be making this lead synth here. OK. Let's begin. Let's start by right clicking and creating a combinator. Name it Shift Tune Lead 2. And I'll just copy the synth notes across so we can get to work. And let's solo it out. Okay, so we can hear it build up as we go along. Right click inside it and create Thor Polysonic Synthesizer. Now, this is kind of over the top, I guess, but I just like using Thor. I've become comfortable with it. Use the drop down arrow to select. Oh, yeah, I just initialized it. Right click, initialize patch. Um, I use the drop down arrow to select the phase modulation oscillator and set it to the pulse wave because the pulse wave or the square wave is what makes that iconic chiptune synth sound. Now, let's take the octave down one and this. PM knob here basically filters out a bit of the high end if you want, but for a brighter, happier sound, take it up to full. Okay, take the filter frequency to about 1.5 kilohertz, just to filter out the high end, but keep a bit of room in there so we can work with the filter envelope. Now, take the resonance up to about halfway, just to add a bit of airiness to the sound. So now we've got the basic part of our sound, uh, but we want to give it a bit of an attack. In order to do this, we're going to use the filter envelope. Now, take everything to zero except for the decay, which we're going to take to about 400 milliseconds. And can you hear? That just adds, adds a kind of a clickiness to the sound. This is opening the filter for a short time, letting the high end through um, for 400 milliseconds, and then closing the filter again down to this 1.48 kilohertz value we've set here and the amount that that's affecting it is defined by this env amount knob here so we'll just leave that at the normal setting but that's how you can change it if you want to now on the amp envelope let's take the sustain right down and yeah just leave the decay up about four but if we take up the release a bit so we've got a bit of a tail on the sound as well. Okay, next to make it even more happy we're going to add some portamento to the sound so it slides between the notes. Up here you've got portamento, if we switch it to the on position, you see it's already sounding a bit more silly. If you take it down to about 24, 25, that's just a small amount that adds that even happier sound, yay. Okay, I'm not gay I swear. Finally on this effect we're going to make it a bit wobbly. In order to do this, we're going to route the LFO to the oscillator's pitch in order to give it that wobbly or vibrato effect. So, hit the tempo sync, turn the rate up to 1 seconds, and now, in the modulation bus routing section, click the source, select LFO1, and select the destination as oscillator1 pitch. Oh, wrong destination there. Click that to clear it. Oscillator 1, pitch, and turn the amount up to about 19, 20, and that just adds a little bit of vibrato to it, and makes it happier. Now that's a pretty sweet chiptune lead. One last thing before I go, to make chiptune sound better, a lot of chiptune producers do this, uh, add a nice bit of reverb to the patch. I've got an RV7000 reverb unit here, if you listen. It just makes it bigger and wider when you add that. On this one, make sure you've got the HF high frequency damp right down to zero there and then the high EQ up to full. Um, that just makes sure the high end is being reverberated because this is a really high pitched effect. Also, I've got this EQ enable turned on here and with this Wembley patch it's got the EQ setting, you can find that here by clicking EQ, set to emphasize around the 4 kilohertz um, frequency which really punches that high end through nicely. Okay, let's have a listen to that in the mix.
Now that's happy. And there you have it, a chiptune lead synth that is more chirpy than a factory full of battery farmed bluebirds. I'm not sure if bluebirds get battery farmed, but I just didn't want a completely positive simile. This has been too happy as it is. So, dig out your Game Boy for some inspiration, and I'll see you next time. If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video, or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!